My name is Dan Dorfmiller. I'm the author of Print Reading for Construction Textbook and the Video Training Series. Check out the video training series on my website, www.printreading.us. This video is all about how to open and organize the large prints. The large prints come behind the textbook and they're in a, a large print pack like this. There are 140 drawings, 70 sheets. Notice we use both sides of the paper. This is to save on the number of sheets needed for the and overall weight of the package when it's shipped. We realize printing both sides is not how drawings are really made or used. So we created this video to help you open and organize the prints based on the activities in the textbook. Let's get started. And thank you for being a patron of my book. First, open the large print packet. Note there is a left and a right folder holding the drawings. Let's take a moment to review the information on each folder leaf. On the left folder leaf is a list of prints, four residential sets and three commercial sets. Next, note a list of what's on each side, front and back, and is also noted here in the rectangular block in the bottom right hand corner of each print, indicating what's on front and back. This will help you keep track of the prints. And on the right folder leaf is a list of all the activities and the corresponding prints for your reference. So back to the left folder, start by opening the top large print and laying it out so that the DEL Dell 30 print is facing up. Continue this process until all the Dell prints are open. Now open the last five prints, OW1 through 5, and set on top of the DEL prints. Note, these large prints will be used also with the large prints opened from the right side folder, which we will discuss later in the video. Now start to open the prints from the right folder. You will note one side is OW6. Flip that print over and lay down the print so CMB35 is facing upward. Continue opening all the CMB prints 1 through 35. Note, the back side of the CMB prints are the OW prints 6 through 40. The missing OW1 through OW5 are from the left pocket. Again, we will be getting back to that shortly. Now, both sides are open. To use the OW set of prints, move the prints OW1 through 5 from the left pocket over on top of the OW6 prints on the right side, and you will now have a complete set of OW prints. To use the residential prints, move the OW prints 1 through 5 back. After moving back on top of the Dell prints, attach alligator clips on the right side, then flip the entire set over. Now you have the complete set of residential prints ready to use. On top are the Sullivan prints 1 through 5, the easy residential prints used throughout the unit activities. Next are the Marcelli prints 1 through 9. These are the main residential prints used throughout the unit activities. Next is the Residence Mercedes Point prints 1 through 8 used in Advanced Activity A. And last is the North House prints 1 through 13 used in Advanced Activity B. The complete set of the Cincinnati Manor Parking and Office Building prints are the CMB 1 through 35 prints as you originally opened from the left folder. This is Advanced Activity D. Flip them over and add the 5OW, which is the GW Office and Warehouse prints, to the top from the right side and move the clips to the left side 
and you have a complete set of the OW prints. These prints are used in Advanced Activity C. While the OW prints are on top of the DEL prints, the simplest way to use the set of Del High Flower and Garden Center prints is to remove the five OW prints from the top and reclip the Dell set together. This set is used as the commercial reference drawings throughout the unit activities. Thanks, and please take a moment to visit my website, www.printreading.us, and the all new video training series that is a comprehensive overview of all the units in the textbook. Mm -hmm.